Hello everyone, my name is Maxi, and today we're going to be discussing the 776 Gods tabletop RPG system. So to begin, we're going to be discussing the setting. The setting is pretty diverse. It can be anywhere from sci-fi to medieval to before that. It can also include mage punk, cyberpunk, things like that. So next up, we've got the basics. Uh, we're going to be discussing stats next. So first things first on the list is health. Health is pretty obvious. If you run out of health, your character's gonna die. Next in the list, we've got mana. Mana is mostly used for spells, although it can also be used for various abilities, and depending on circumstance, it can also be used as a secondary health stat for various races. Next in the list, we've got strength. Strength governs your character's physical capabilities, such as their ability to punch things, or lift objects, or compete in strength contests, which we'll be explaining later. After strength, we've got armor. Every character has a natural armor stat. The natural armor stat is added onto the AV of the armor your character is wearing. This gives your character a flat damage reduction to whatever damage is being dealt to them. After armor, we've got dexterity. Dexterity is how fast or nimble your character is. It governs things like accuracy, movement speed, the ability to dodge, the ability to raise your shield in time to block, things like that. There are quite a few other stats that can come into play, but that's a little bit too advanced for this introductory video. So let's move on. So now that we've gone over the stats, let's discuss the process for actually making a character. Like I said, this isn't going to be a full guide on how to do that, it's just going to be a basic overview of the system. Generally the first thing a player does to make a character is going to be choose their race. This is going to determine a lot of their base abilities and how their character is going to be used, what kind of stats that character is going to have to work with to start with. We're going to be going a lot more in depth in races at a different time. After races, we've got arguably my player's favorite part of making a character, and that's the traits. Traits are a system of character modifications that can drastically change the way a character is played. They can change stats, they can change the way you gain those stats, they can change which stats you use, they can change things like if your character dies they can come back or if they die and come back with something like that they can heal their party members they can give your character more skill with magic with weapons with armor with being unarmed while fighting they can change what roles are required for various actions they can give your characters items one example being the demon seed which allows your character to start with a demon thrall that is perfectly subservient to them. They can cause your character to drastically change over time, whether physically, statistically, or both. They can give you bonuses to most or all roles in various situations. And these are just a few of the things that traits can do. After traits, we've got starting points. Starting points are basically a way to modify your character a little bit more before a campaign starts. With starting points, you can get a little bit of extra stats, you can increase your skills a little bit, it can modify your character so that you start with magic. Depending on the GM, you can start with items. You can also start with various character effects like vampirism or lycanthropy. There's a bunch of things you can do with starting points, and they're definitely worth looking into when you're making a character. So earlier, I mentioned skills. Skills are, well, skills, that the skills your character has to do various tasks. Skills include things like mining, alchemy, working with metal, finding your way through various locales. There's a bunch of them. Alongside skills, there's also a few various other systems such as the crafting system, which we won't be discussing in this video. Now earlier I mentioned the magic system. The magic system is fairly robust and fairly customizable, but it's pretty in-depth to be going into in this video, so we're going to be waiting on that. The last big thing to worry about when you're making a character is difficulty, but it's not really that much of a worry. Most of the time, you can get away with your campaign just being on normal difficulty, and it depends entirely on the GM if they want to make huge modifications for different difficulties. Now moving on from player creation, we're going to move on to the flow of combat within a campaign. The flow of combat is fairly similar to other tabletop RPG systems. You've got your turn order, you've got your initiative, you've got your actions and reactions. That's going to be discussed also more in a later video, although it won't take up a huge part of that video. 
Now, putting the actual mechanics of the system aside for a minute, there's a lot of background lore that makes the system what it is. There's various things in the system that don't function without taking into account the lore of the system itself. However, that information is way more long-winded than all of the other stuff in this video, including the magic system and the trait system. So we will be firmly putting that to the side for the moment and discussing that at a later time. So wrapping up, we're still in active development. We're still adding features, removing features, tweaking features, changing things overall. So the information that you hear here may not all be the final information for the system. I tend to keep my players updated with the accurate information as much as possible. Sorry for this video being kind of dry, but it's just the basic stuff I have to get out there in order to explain the rest. Thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see you next time. This is Maxi signing out.